Hello everyone, uh, June the Groomer here. Um, this is Bao. His name is B-A-O Bao. And uh, he's a Bichon. I was supposed to groom this morning at his house. New client. So I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I go there and this guy is super aggressive. Like really aggressive. Um, she's saying that he, 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 she, they adopted him in Maryland. He's been with them for a few years now. He's always been like this, especially around men. <laughs> um, and I, I have a lead around them, but I can't even get to it. Look, hold on. I'll switch it so you can actually see, but I can't even, I can't even get my lead back from around this. Look, look at this. He's so aggressive. I can't even, this is just my hand, like right here. So, see, I can't even touch him. Like, even if I just get near the back of him, See, where, where I'm just trying to get the lead. He will not let me touch him. <laughs> so how do you groom a dog that will not let you touch him? Um, the answer is pretty simple. You can't, um, you, you don't. Um, because if he, if he does not want me to touch him like this and he's super aggressive and he bites and all this stuff and you know, goes nuts, um, how am I supposed to groom him, right? And even if I do restrain him and force him, his eyes can turn red. Um, he could literally go have a stroke or a seizure. Um, and I've been through this before with the dog. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember the little toy poodle, Sunshine. So I really don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I actually took him out of the house um, and took him on a little walk in front of his house. He pooed in front of me and I picked up his poo and uh, he's like got these cool moments, but he's just super does just not does not want me to get near him or touch him How about this you all right with this? Okay, so he's okay with the camera I guess with the phone being near him just not my hand So I brought him to my house um, Hopefully with my wife to help me um, We'll get it done, but yeah, this is I think this is what grooming is you know, if I could just get people to um, think of grooming differently, it's not just a haircut. It's not just washing a dog and giving him a haircut. Grooming is the relationship. It's about allow, getting the dog comfortable enough with me to allow me to actually touch him. And then once I can touch him, then I can start to brush him. But even his mom gets bit when she tries to brush him. So, and she was, you know, rubbing on him and touching him while, we were, while I was there. Um, and so she can touch him, but she can't brush him because she'll get bit too. So um, I need to get to the point where I can actually touch him and he won't react. And then when I brush him, he probably will react, but at least I've gained a little bit more rapport with him before I start you know, pushing him there. So this could be an all day thing. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll ask my wife to bust out the camcorder. Maybe we'll do like another grooming series, uh, grooming table series. How to groom a dog, a Bichon that does not want you to groom him. So we'll see you guys. Hi guys, oh my goodness, look at this, already sweating. Okay, so I finally got Bao on the table and trust me enough to just let me pet him. Good boy, Bao. So now he is on the table. Good boy. And I, I actually just walked around the house with him and introduced him to my mom's cat um, who really didn't like him too much. Introduced him to Weemy, Dexter, and Angel outside. And, you know, he kind of growled and snapped at Angel, and she checked him. And so I, I think, and, and she didn't bite him or anything. She just kind of, you know, rawr, you know, snapped right back at him. <laughs> and that put him in his place, and he, all of a sudden he went down. So I can see that this is a very insecure guy. He's not, he's not like, like being aggressive because he's, you know, he thinks he's a tough guy. He's scared, actually. He just doesn't want people to hurt him. And so... Good boy, Val. So, um, who knows how he's going to react once I actually get him, like, up on, you know, once I get him secured on the table and start brushing him and really get into the grooming. Um, who knows what's going to happen. Um, my wife was supposed to be here to help me, and I was calling her on the way home, like, oh my god, honey, we're going to make a YouTube video series, you know, I'm going to need your help, but... Um, she wasn't answering, she wasn't picking up, and then I finally get home, and she's like rushing on her way out of here to get my um, two daughters to a homeschool event. 
So I'm flying solo. <laughs> I originally, you know, took him out of his house and brought him to my house because I thought I would have uh, reinforcements. You know, my wife would be here. You know, but um, yeah. So that was pretty cool, though. I just I just touched him, uninvited, and he didn't snap. Perfect. So now I'm gonna secure him up on my table, and we're gonna start brushing him, right, buddy? Oh, good boy. So this is what we want. Good boy, we want this first. So you saw how he was just, ah, you know, he did not want me to touch him or get near him because he didn't know who I was. Um, but now that he saw me interact with my dogs, he saw me interact with my cat, uh, well, my mom's cat. <laughs> Let me make that clear. Um, and even my birds. Oh, I don't know if you can see. My little parakeets there. And Kimmy was in the middle of cleaning their cage. So unfortunately, I can't move them. So I'm going to have an audience of birds today. <laughs> so um, maybe, I don't know. I don't know if I can get the camcorder out. I don't. Eh, anyways, it would have been a nice video. Um, maybe I can like um, film the ending, though. Um, maybe Kimmy will be back in time for the haircut, and I can show, you know, have her um, hold the camcorder and record the haircut part. Um, but that's the easy part. Uh, <laughs> Everything that leads up to the haircut is actually going to be the hard part. So, unfortunately, you guys may miss out on that. Um, but I'm going to do my best to try to at least film the haircut part. And hopefully, he won't warm up to me so much where it'll look so easy. <laughs> because I know everybody wants to see like how how to how to groom a dog that's like snapping and going crazy. So, um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You know, sturdy and kind of built. It's not built like a Bichon. I'm, I'm convinced that this is a toy poodle, just that it gets a Bichon type of cut, round head. Um, and now he trusts me. I can literally, look at this, I plucked all this, see the skin? So I started going with the comb, and with the comb, just by going with the comb, literally like chunks and bundles of dead hair with crud right at the base of them. So these bundles of hair stuck by crud would just comb right out of here. And so all of that was bothering him. There was so much down here. His ears were packed full of hair. I got that plucked out. Here, you want to show him this here? So now I, I you know, cleared out his ears. There's this plug of hair in there. And, um, you know, went through and combed him out. And it's like a lot of people, I know I get it. It's like he's aggressive. He doesn't, tr he doesn't want like this. Let's just get it done. Shave him down and get it over with. Um, but if we actually, look, see? If we actually take the time to gain their trust, we can literally, I can do anything I want with him, you know, and he's not going to react anymore because now he trusts me because I helped him feel good. I actually went there and calmed him. Um, something that Dr. Green, um, Dr. Douglas Green, author of Asherel, um, he, we went, he did an interview with me um, during one of our Ask Jim the Groomer shows, one of the earlier episodes. I really liked what he said during our conversation. He said that dogs, they have, they, they don't um, communicate the way we do with language and we try to convince each other and, you know, things like that, persuade each other. Um, he's saying dogs, they have the most honest form of communication. They just are. They just, they just are, you know, they just do. So in order to gain his trust, I really needed to let him get, you know, react to me however he was to react to me and just make it very clear to him that, hey, I'm just here to help. But then... Honey, try to, try to touch him. If my wife tries to pet him, uh, he's a little bit, okay, he's better now. But he was showing his teeth at my wife. You know, my wife couldn't even touch him. So, is he showing his teeth? Yeah. Yeah, see? So, because she didn't build the rapport, I did. You know, so that's, that's the thing about dogs. They're so honest. Right now, he's not being a bad dog when he's showing my wife his teeth. He's not being a bad dog. He's just being very honest and saying, hey, I don't know you. You know, you have a, <laughs> don't touch me. I don't know you. And a lot of that could have, could have started with the uncomfortable skin, with all of this building up on his skin and making him feel really uncomfortable. And then he probably just didn't want anybody to mess with him. Oh, uh, hey. But see, now I can do, I can calm him down. I built the trust. And go, you know, you know how I did it? I slipped him 50 bucks. <laughs> you know? No. That's why I love dog grooming. It's because it's the most honest form of work I've ever been involved in. Because the only way I can get him to trust me, the only way I can get him to cooperate with me, is by first giving him my trust. 
giving him my, giving him respect, giving him trust, giving him respect, giving him love. I massaged him, you know. So, um, if I can, if I can make anything clear, see, my wife's trying to. <laughs> I just have my finger up. Are there any questions coming in about no. like why I why I um, plug here? You know, even though it looks bad. Um, the good news is, like, it's bald right there, but the good news is now these follicles, these pores are clear of all that junk that was in there. And the follicles now are going to get the signal, hey, we need new hair. So it's going to grow fresh new hair that's not going to be brown and nasty and, and gunky. It's going to be fresh and live like these hairs. And because they have oils and they're sealed up, they're going to repel off all that extra moisture and junk that gets, usually gets built up there. So that's why I take the time to do that. Um, yeah, if, if anybody, are we live? Nobody's watching? <laughs> Nobody cares. Okay, wrap it up. All right, everyone. Thank Bye. you for everybody that joined us. This is Bao. Hey, Bao. There you go. He's all done now. He's got a nice Bichon cut. And I can touch him anywhere I want now. There we go. We're bros now. Right, buddy? Good boy. Awesome. Well, today was a success. <laughs> and now we're going to take this guy home. Say bye. He's pooped. You're telling me. I don't know why you're so tired, Bao. I'm the one that did all the work. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, sorry I couldn't make a YouTube video out of it. Um, but hey, at least it's done and everybody's, uh, everybody's happy. Alright, thank you guys. Bye.